I'm Eric Wilson with Keysight Technologies. Today I will show you how to access the FPGA in one of our arbitrary waveform generator or digitizer modules so that you can customize the module for your specific application. Here is a Keysight PXI chassis with 18 slots. The first slot contains the chassis controller and our programmable FPGA module is in slots 4 and 5. In the following tutorial, we will be using the graphical programming environment Pathwave FPGA, which runs on your laptop or desktop PC to configure the FPGA in the module. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to create a Pathwave FPGA project for the M3302A BSP. To get started, launch Pathwave FPGA from the Start menu and select File, New Hardware Project. The new hardware project dialog will show up and you will be presented with a page that lists the project name and project location. I will be using the default project name and project location for this example. Click next to get to the project type page where you can select a board support package. I will be using the M3302A board support package for this example. Click next to get to the board project options page where you can select the board configuration. For this example, I will be using the M3302A Fixed Clock K32 FPGA option. Click Next and you'll get to the project template page. I will be using the default project template. The default project template comes preloaded with IP blocks on the canvas and the blank project template provides you with a blank, blank project canvas where you can start out with your own design. Click Next to get to the Project Summary page, where you will be presented with a list of previously selected options from the previous pages. And when you are ready, click the Finish button, and you will generate a Pathwave FPGA project for the M3302A. The M3302A is a combo module, which means it is a, an arbitrary waveform generator and a digitizer. The first two channels are the arbitrary waveform generator, and the second two channels are the digitizer. The arbitrary waveform generator section has the function generator, generator and mod gain block, along with the function generator control and mod gain control blocks. The analog trigger section has the analog trigger block and the trigger selector block, and also the analog control channel and the analog channel input and, out and outputs. Pathwave FPGA comes with the sandbox I.O. that you can add to your design. You can add a host interface, which is can either be memory mapped or a register bank, and you can add PXI triggers and the front panel trigger input and output connector. You can also use real-time HVI in your design, or you can also use the system I.O., which are things like clock and resets and synchronization signals. Pathwave FPGA also comes with some pre-built IP libraries you can use. These are under the IP repositories section. Pathwave FPGA has some basic IP where you can use like a combiner and concat blocks and some delay blocks and some latches and registers. And there's also some the BSP specific IP which is the analog trigger block and the function generator mod gain and the trigger selector blocks. The connectors are an Axi 4 light to mem interface, and so if you have an Axi 4 light interface that you need to hook up to a mem block, you can use this connector block, IP block. And the math library provides adders and multipliers and shift blocks. And then we have some memory blocks you can use in your design, like a dual port RAM and uh, memory mux. Once your design is complete, you can come up to the uh, Generate bit file option, and if you click this, it will bring up the FPGA hardware build dialog where you can choose the build type. You can select synthesis, implementation, or implement from DCP. Implement from DCP allows you to set a pre built DCP sandbox file that you built outside of Pathwave FPGA and then just use Pathwave FPGA for the implementation section. For this design, I'll be setting it to implementation and when you are ready to generate an FPGA bit file, you can hit the Run button, and Pathwave FPGA will generate the FPGA image.